नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज संदीप सक्सेना आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टुडे इन द सीरीज ऑफ एफ एन पी सर्विस वीडियोज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक अबाउट class day so the objective of this topic you can say after watching this video it is a introduction about class day class day is play a very important role into the fmv service operation we know because we have lot of beverages we have alcoholic beverages we have non alcoholic beverages if we do categorizing our beverages there should be alcoholic beverages there should be non alcoholic beverages non alcoholic beverages categorize many parts it should be stimulating beverages refreshing beverages and after the refreshing beverage there should be nourishing beverages So, if you're talking about the some tea and coffee, so the tea and coffee is a hot beverage which are served into the tea cup and saucer. But we're talking about the cold stimulating beverages like lemon iced tea, cold coffee, having a need a separate glass. Tea. So, the objective of this video to understand the particular glass where for a particular drink. I hope you understand the basic objective of the. this video we have to be analyzes each and individual ring with their appropriate glass so we are talking about refreshing beverage what is refreshing beverage refreshing beverage are consists with fresh fruit juices some syrups some slush so each fresh fruit juices having a different glass if the we are serving juices into the breakfast we are using a glass of tom collin we are serving juice into the banquet there should be a banquet glass or a juice glass or the pony tumbler we are talking about nourishing beverages this is the category of non alcoholic beverage if we are talking about the nourishing beverages there should be some milk base non alcoholic beverage like milk shake vanilla shake chocolate shake these are have to be served into the highball glass or tom collin glass so i can you understand the the objective of this video we are talking about the alcoholic beverage there should be a wine which are comes under the category of fermented beverage so to so serving the wine there should be a wine glass if the wine is red the red wine glass if the wine is white the so white wine glass there is a slightly different into the red wine glass and the white wine glass so we will know all the things about glassware into the this particular video we talking about champagne champagne is a again a wine it's a sparkling wine so we are serving champagne in a three way or you can say in a three different type of glassware there should be a champagne saucer there should be a champagne flute or there should be a champagne brandies so i understand that this is very difficult to each drink with their appropriate glass here now the third objective of this particular video that how they are made to present what is the appearance of a particular glass the another objective of this particular video is history of glass we have to be know the origination of glass fourth point of comes in the objective of different glass sphere is why glass is used yes again a good point why we are using a particular glass for particular drink we can discuss in this video now the another objective of this video is importance of glass drink wares we have to be understand what is the importance of glass there into the fmb service operation yes there is a 
vital importance of glassware for a conducting a smooth operation especially fnb service or especially bar service and talking about some type of glassware and at the end of the objective of this video the glassware manufacturing companies we also know that which company is produced which type of glass so welcome to the world of glass start with some introduction part of glassware the term glassware can be used to refer to the items that are made from glass so the glassware can be related to the items which are made for a particular glass glassware usually refer to glass items used as tableware so we can say glassware it's also called a tableware because while placing a cover either it is a main course cover either it is a buffet cover either it is a breakfast cover we are placing all the dishes cutlery and the flatware on a table so it is also called called a flatware and it's come under the category of flatware the term glassware can be used to refer the item that are made from the glass glassware usually refers to glass item used as tableware in catering industry glassware is used to refer to all type of drinkwares so the another name of glassware is also is a drinkwares so the glassware is also stand for drinkwares so again we can say the glassware can be come into the category of tableware and also known as a drinkware glassware is a very key element for catering the complete tableware its utility is both functional and decorative there is a no table arrangement without some kind of glassware we cannot assume to placing any cover without glassware talking about the cover cover is a place where we put some crockery cutlery linen and a glassware so without glassware we cannot arrange any single cover the glassware play a very important role into the fnb service operation for conducting a smooth operation especially the bar operation the fnb service operation the banquet operation you can say the pub operation we should know a great knowledge about glassware glassware is also referred as a drinkware to so each drink each beverage having a specific glassware glassware can be put into the category of tableware without the glassware we cannot arrange any cover either it should be a water covered or either it should be a wine glass it have to be placed before the guest coming we can say that glassware is a key element for catering the complete tableware its utility is both functional and decorative and there is a no table arrangement without some kind of glassware there is a wide variety of glassware of views different sizes and shapes each one serving a different beverage or drink so if you're talking about the variety of glassware there is a lot of wide variety of glassware having a different size and shapes if we're talking about the red wine glass the red wine glass having a different size if we're talking about a white wine glass it having a long stem and in the white wine glass having a category of different glasses talking about the champagne saucer having a different size if it talking about the brandy balloon having a different size if talking about the shoot glass having a different size I'm talking about glasses so before starting the size of glasses we also discuss the size of glasses now 
Pliny, the Roman historian, wrote about merchants who accidentally discovered glass in Syria about 5000 BC. So it is uh, evidence to that uh, history of glass is starting in the 500 BC. When they placed cooking pots on blocks on nitrate. The high temperature of the first heat melted and nitrate, which mixed with sand, formed an open liquid and cool as a glass. So this is all a history about of glassware which are found in Syria in the 500 BC. So the mixture. of nitrate after the thing and a glass. This is all the sponsor of glass. However, it is believed that glass based from Egypt and Mesopotamia in 3500 BC was the first actual handmade glass. So the other very interesting fact about the glass here in 3500 BC Mesopotamia and the Egypt was found a first handmade glass field. The oldest glass thus far found were produced in the 16th century. So we can say our first glass is produced in 16th century centuries in China and Egypt. Glass manufacture become more efficient with the use of soda line and develop to a higher level in Venice, Italy. Glasses as we have then today become more widely available only after nearly revolutionary developments in the glass manufacture occurred in 1890s. So the 1890s have a revolutionary development of the industry and the glass manufacturers has come at the base industry of glass manufacture in the 1890s. So this is all about the history of glass, which has start with the Syria in 5000 BC. Also understand that the 3500 BC, there should be Mesopotamia in Egypt producing the handmade glassware. So this is all about glassware history. Now come into the how are they made at present? Glass production involves two main methods. The flawed glass process which produce sheet glass and glass blowing which produce bottles and other containers. So there is a first method to produce glassware that's called the flawed glass process which produce sheet glasses and glass blowing which produce bottles and their other containers. This is all about a flawed glass process. Glass is made by heating sand until it melts and then allowing it to cool. Now you can see the images in my PowerPoint presentation. There is a specific method for production of glass. So there is a some giving a high heat and some liquid which are placing into the soil or you can say a coil is there and we are placing a melted thing in the flawed glass process. In addition, different materials are added to the mixture to affect color and create the patterns food in the different type of glass available today. So now we can say there is a different type of glass there should be there with a lot of colors, with a lot of variety. So the different type of mixture are had to be added as a color agent or it is a color different patterns. When created properly, glass can be strong. It should be hard. It should be an elastic in nature. It should be a chemical and it should be a resistance perspiration with the heat and it should be a thermal shock resistance and it is a heat absorbent electricity insulating and can displaying optional properties. So this is method to produce glassware. They are very important for understanding the concept of glassware. 
Glass production involves basically two main methods. The first is the flood glass process, which produce sheet glass and glass blowing. It produce bottles and other containers. Glass is made by heating then until it melts and then allowing it to cool. To get different type of glass, various metal based alkalis are added to the sand mixture. In addition of color and create the patterns, some mixtures are also added in the flood glass process. When created properly, glass can be strong, it can be hard, it can be a nature of elasticity, it can be a thermal shock resistance and it should be a plasticity and can be a display optional properties. So this is all about how to prepare a made in present of glass. Now talking about why glass is used. exam it is can be asked your management in exam or any campus interview and after watching this video you can give this answer that why glass is used for a different beverages so now talking about why glass is used today new technologies facilities the production of glass making it is one of the most affordable home products available. Glass has another import, important quality, its great clarity and you can say it's a crystal clear. Glass can be moved or it is molded into any shape. So one main feature is glass, it should be molded into any shape or any size. Unlike ceramic which needs a certain thickness and shape. Glassware is easy to imprint, making it one of the top choice for low level marketing purpose. Every printing technology works on glass, fitting every budget. Glasses is one of the most Material materials because it does not react with most acids and substance. It is chemical resistance is the reason why it is widely used in homes and hospitals. So, I hope you understand why glass is used. And it is a, one of the most important questions the interview can ask if any question. And after watching this video, I hope you understand the question about why glass is used. A small recap about today's video lectures that today we discuss about the some introduction part of glassware. That the glassware is also called as a drinkware and it's come into the category tableware. Part of stem, bow, and foot. Stem, bow, and foot. After a small introduction of glassware, there is a wide variety of glassware of drinking different sizes and shapes, each one serving a different beverage or drink. After a small recap of the history of glass, the can assume that the Syria is about 500 BC the glass. Another important aspect for producing glass is 3500 BC when the Egypt and Mesopotamia were the first actual handmade glassware. This is a completely revolutionary in the industry, the glass manufacturers companies in the world. So there is two important methods for involving the production of glass, the flood glass process. Now, talking about the importance of glass drink wares, from the ancient time, glassware has always been a 
hallmark of high class in our days anyone can use a glass although it is not necessary but every glass pieces has a specific use so now in the particular slide we have to be the importance of glass drink wares from the ancient time glass there has always been a hall of high glass in our days anyone can afford to buy an own glass here although it is not necessary but every glass here pieces has its specific uses some liquids are meant to be fight with from a specific type of glass some examples are strong liquor require a thick not very tall blank glass we're talking about the strong liquors like whiskey gin tequila rum need a thick not very tall a blank glass we're talking about the water water needs a generally require the big glass so the size of water goblet it is a 8 to 10 ounce what is ounce the capacity of any glass beer it is a, also a measurement unit of glass beer we talking about the beer mugs and water glass are usually daily so they are built to last while we talking about the champagne and wine glasses are built from a more expensive type of glass usually crystal and they are used rarely so their quality is a bit higher although they are more fragile juice glasses on the other hand are similar than water glass and they come in a greater variety of colors and decoration so this is all about importance of glass drink wares glassware manufacturing companies there should be a libe a libe is one of the most prestigious glassware company which are producing many glassware libe glassware company a leading global manufacturer and a marketer of glass tableware products we talk talking about one even better the founder is a new england glass company in east cambridge sale more than one crore glass annual the libe the company which are produce of tumbler glass stemware glass floral glass salt shaker shot glasses and candle holders so this is all about libe libe is one of the most prestigious glass production company also famous in india they produce highball glass champagne glass champagne saucer glass and many more now talking about the gen sua the jinan usa is a company based of usa company which are production of variety of glassware is the largest glassware decorator in canada and top 5th in north america so talking about the jinan jinan is one of the most leading company which are producing glassware so why we are talking about the these company so after the placement of any fnb service professional from university when you do goes to the hotel industry he need to select the glassware for the particular company we talking about the india there is a lot of variety of orient now talking about the jinan usa so the jinan usa is the largest glassware decorator in the canada and top 5th in the north america the jinan usa specialized in beer glasses liquor glasses wine glasses and glassware accessories 
the zinan flavor discovery is consists with unique program about how to choose beer glasses and to define the match flowers to the right glass offers uv glass beer printing technology this is all about zinan usa we also discussed the libaya again a leading company to produce glassware are talking about the oceans in india 70 to 80% glass is found from company oceans it is the asia leading glassware tableware manufacturer the mission of ocean glass company it provides life level with quality glassware it is established in 1979 in thailand and it is play a very important role to produce variety of range includes tumblers stemware glass jars tea cups beer mugs and many more now you can see the brand images the logo of ocean glassware in my powerpoint presentation borosil borosil again a well known brand having an iso iso certified company the borosil glass work limited is market leader for glassware in india so talking about the india borosil is a play a very important role for producing a different type of glassware the borosil certified a glass glassware it is can be a gujarat borosil located in dhulk gujarat and is responsible for sales aeropro uh, another leading company we are producing a different type of glassware the establishment established in 1825 in the village of iraq these are created as a and plastic for venues such as pool decks spa rooftop bars and night clubs so after analysis of these companies which are producing the different glassware we are discuss about the some glassware we are talking about food and beverage services use variety of glasses for different type of drink which call for a huge investment in delicate and fragile equipment so the glass they are very wild old the end of this operation of our bar operation as well as our banquet operation the side already and the spark of glass they selected profit of the residents the quality of glass there is also indicate the quality of the residents the classes are named by the drinks served in them we talking about the structure of a glass it's having a three parts so we can say a glassware can be consisted of three important part first is bow second is base or we can say foot part and the th third one is the stem so the bow base or foot or the stem having a most important part of the glassware glassware is classified into the following three type according to their parts so first is talking about tumbler tumbler it is a basically a bowl without the stem or foot its side may be straight widened or curved so the best example of tumbler glass is rock glass old fashion glass highball glass or colin glass or juice glass and so on so a very important thing in this particular slide there is a three key parts of the glass the first is ball the second is base 
the third one is foot and the another one is stamp glassware is classified into the following three type according to their parts now talking about the tumbler part it is basically a ball without stamp the example of the tumbler is the rock glass or you can say the old fashion glass highball glass collins glass juice glass and so on not talking about the footed view in the type the ball sides directly on a base or foot without the stem so in the some glass having a footed with the ball understand so the ball with a footed but there is no stem to so understand the difference between the tumbler and the footed wheel in this type the ball sits directly on a base or foot without the stem ball and base may come in a variety of shapes the best example of footed wheel like a brandy balloon the beer goblet the snifter is the best example of footed wheel not talking about stem wheel it refers to glass that have all three parts base ball stem so if any glass having a ball if any glass having a footed wheel and if any glass having a stem wheel it's called a stem wheel glass it refers to glasses that have all three parts base ball and the stem the stem consists the ball with the base or foot the best example of the stem wheel the red wine glass the white wine glasses the champagne saucer the champagne flute the cocktail glass and many more so a uh, small recap about the classification of glass according to their parts there should be a ball part there should be a base part or there should be stem part now talking about the tumbler the example of rock glass old fashion glass high ball glass example of footed wear the example is brandy balloon the beer goblet if we talking about the stem wear the red wine glass the white wine glass the champagne flute and the champagne saucer not talking about the different type of glass wear there are as flaws now we discuss about the wine goblet so the wine goblet can be divided into the many categories because wine having a classification of according to the color according to the size according to the contain according to their alcohol value can say abb so there should be a sparkling wine so for the sparkling wine there should be different glass the table wine which are classified according to the taste color it should be a red wine it should be a rosé wine it should be a white wine or it should be a blush wine so the red wine is served into the different glass which are called a red wine glass white wine having a served into the white wine glass the champagne which are a sparkling wine it is served in a different glass so there is some reason to serve a different glass to a different type of wine so generally a wine goblet should be consist with a 10 oz we talking about the champagne tulip the size of champagne tulip is 6 to 8 oz if we talking about the champagne saucer it is the size of the champagne saucer is 6 to 8 oz the champagne flute the size of champagne flute is 6 to 8 oz now again some more concentration in this video there is a oz what is oz oz is the measurement unit of any glass wheel it calculate the depth of the glass the ohms word which are using for a measurement of glass so the size of the wine goblet is 10 oz the champagne tulip having a 6 to 8 oz the champagne saucer again 6 to 8 oz and the champagne flute the size of 6 to 8 oz the cocktail glass having a size of 2 to 3 oz the sherry having a size of 1.75 oz the highball glass having a size of 9 to 10 oz the laser glass having a size of 10 to 12 oz the brandy balloon having a size of 8 to 12 oz the liqueur glass containing is a 25 ml 
the slim gin glass having a one and a half pint and the beer jig having a one two five pint print now talking about the some glass way So which type of chill wine we serve? We're talking about the white wine and the sparkling wine. We are serving these wine very chill. The temperature of serving of white wine and serving of sparkling wine is five to seven degrees centigrade. So white wine is usually served chill wine and if we're talking about wine goblet, it is used especially when drinking chilled wine. It is to grab it by the stem. It is to grab by the stem in order to prevent the temperature of wine being affected by body heat. Now talking about the champagne tulip, now you can say the images of champagne tulip which come into the category of stem glass having a goblet having a foot and having a stem it is used to drink champagne and sparkling wines which stay long so there is a wine goblet which are used especially when the drinking chill wine and after that is a champagne tulip it is used to drink champagne and sparkling wine which stay longer a champagne tulip basically used for in banquet and the small amount of champagne and the sparkling wine can be served into the banquet operation now talking about a champagne saucer it is used for serve champagne it is not preferred glass as it goes off soon due to wider surface area so champagne saucer is used for serving the champagne and the size of the champagne saucer glass is 4 to 6 ounce champagne flute so this is there is some images of champagne flute champagne flute and sparkling wine stay longer time so the designing of the champagne flute is like we can stay a longer time for the sparkling wine and champagne a cocktail glass it is used for all type of cocktails example Kilroyal, Mint Julep, Long, Iceland Tea and many more we also serve Bloody Mary we also serve the screwdriver into the cocktail glass Sherry glass a sherry glass is a type of drinkware generally used for serving aromatic alcoholic beverage such so as sherry, port Apparatus, liquors, and layers, shooters. The juices. The water in glass is also used for coolers and long drinks. So today we discuss about sherry glass, cocktail glass, champagne flutes. And the champagne saucer, the champagne tulip, and the wine goblet. After the cocktail glass, there should be a highball glass. It is used to serve spirits and mixers. Highball glass, a John Collins, Tom Collins, and the mint julep and water. So highball glass having a category of Tom Collins, John Collins, and the mint julep and water. It is used to serve spirits and mixture. Talking about the vodka and gin, the ideal for serving vodka and gin and other mixture. Now talking about the lazy lager glass, it is served, it is used to serve bottle and brought lager beers. So the light beers are served into the lager glass. This lager glass can be served a bottle and the brought lager beers. This is not for the ale beer, it's only for the Lager beers. So lager beers are the light beers, the ale beers is the strong beer. Now talking about the brandy balloon. 
the shape for a balloon it is used to serve brandies cognac pnb brandies the fruit based brandy the liquor based cocktail frappes and liquor so this is a brandy balloon glass we are talking about some liquor glass it is used to serve a small amount of liquor typically after dinner so you can say that digestive drinks or the dessert drink are served into the liquor glass slim gym glass it is used to serve spirits mixture and sauce alternative to highball glass the beer jug it is used to serve beers and beer based mix drinks it is always in different sizes talking about how to handling of glass beer because the glass beer is a very delicate and one of the most expensive equipment into the fnb service operation so it should be handling a very proper manner so there is some method or there is some point which are indicate how to handling handling a glass beer glass beer is highly is highly mostly and delicate and expensive so the points should be considered while handling a glass beer has a most care has to taken while handling glass beer when well, you see the glass boxes there should be a, a written the word handle with care so handle with care of glass beer is must for each and every fnb service outlet it either a hospitals it either a find any restaurant it either a banquet to so the care of glassware it should be must glasses are normally stored in a glass pantry and should be placed upside down in single rows on a paper lined shelf so always stored a glass in a pantry where placed upside down in single rows on paper lined shelves to prevent dust settling in them so provide preventing dust we have to be placed the glass upside down in a single rows on a paper lined shelves the rule number 3 for handling of glass there is tumbler should not be stacked inside one another at this may result in heavy breakage and accidents the tumbler should not be stacked inside one another as this may be result in a heavy breakage and accident the point number 4 about the handling of glass beer the appearance of the drink mainly depend on the glass and therefore the glass should be sparkling clean and attractive in the shape and style so before the serving each glass beer should be a thorough clean the matter of hygiene is a matter of cleanliness so the appearance of the drink mainly depends on the glass and therefore the glass should be sparkling clean and attractive in the shape and style when glass beer is machine or hand wash each individual item must be polished and dried with a glass cloth made of linen when glass beer is machine or hand wash each individual item must be polished and dried with a glass cloth made of linen as water leaves the steel of the glass the glass whenever clean or dirty have to be handled by the base or stem since the finger prints left on the glass need a polishing so this is all about the handling of glassware care should be taken while handling the glasses because it is one of the most expensive item if the proper training giving to the handling of glassware to the staff it can very beneficial for any every organization we talking about the glassware measurement the one on is equals to 30 ml and one point is equals to the 16 on and is equals to the 140 473 ml so today we are discuss about
all the information about glacier which is one is equal to the one point is equal to 60 on equal to four m three m so at the end of the video i hope you understand the glass wave now a small recap about the glass wave we just understand that today we discuss about a glass wave which is also known as a flat wave glass wave is also known as a drink wave we also discuss in this video some history of glasses you can say syria is starting to producing glasses in the 5000 bc there is a flawed glass process for producing the glass a question of why glass is used we also discuss in this video the importance of glass drinkers the also discuss about the companies of producing glass wares like libai zinan usa oceans borosil and acrosos also discuss about the different types of glass wear the ball base or stem also discuss about the different type of glass wear like the wine goblet the champagne tulip the champagne saucer the champagne flute the cocktail glass the sherry the highball glass the laser glass the brandy balloon glass the liquor glass the cylindrical glass the beer mug glass and the talking about the handling of glass wear and the end of this video the measurement of the glass wear is like one on this is 30 ml the one point is equals to 16 non is equals to 4 centimeters ml so after watching this video there is a mcq about some glass wear we also discuss about some mcq and i hope after watching this video you can earn a good knowledge about the glass wear and when you solve this mcq also gain a good knowledge about the glass wear now the first question is consists about this mcq is what type of glass should use to serve brandy to serving brandy there should be a cylindrical glass the shot glass the rolly poly glass or the highball glass the question number 2 is consists with it is used to serve beers and beer based mixed drink is cylindrical glass shot glass beer goblet or highball the question number 3 is consists with what type of glasses should be used to serve tequila so in this question you have to give the answer about so the glass and highball so the fact is you the shot glass is consumed by the shot glass it should be served in rolly poly glass and the highball glass so after watching this video you can give the answer how to serve tequila and which glass we serve tequila it is used to serve the question number four it is used to serve vodka and vodka based mixed drink the ideal glass is highball which is the option d the ideal glass is the beer goblet with the option c the ideal glass is the shot glass which is the option is b and the option a is the cylindrical glass the another question which are related to the another mcq which are uh, about which type of glass should be used to serve single malt whisky the whiskey is served into the old fashioned glass now i'm talking about to how to serve single malt whiskey it should be a cylindrical glass it should be shot glass rolly poly glass and the high ball glass so there is no option of old fashioned glass what type of glass should be used to serve brandy it should be a cylindrical glass it should be a brandy balloon the rolly poly and the high ball glass so brandy balloon is the ideal option to serve brandy the cylinder is ideal option to serve brandy or the high ball is suitable for serve brandy what type of glass should be used to serve sparkling wine which there should be a champagne flute there should be a shot glass there should be a rolly poly glass or there should be a high high ball glass Now, the question of MCQ like what type of glass should be used to serve whiskey? This is either sir in a cylindrical glass, old fashioned glass, rolly poly glass, or high ball glass. The another question is related to the MCQ: which type of glass should be used to serve cocktail? It should be cocktail glass. Option C: It should be served in high ball glass. We have option D: Or it must be in cylindrical glass. The option A: Mocktail is served in which glass? The option is cylindrical. 
शॉर्ट ग्लास कॉकटेल ग्लास और हाई बॉल ग्लास सो आई होप यू कैन सॉल्व दिस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन अबाउट द ग्लास और अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो एंड यू कैन सॉल्व दिस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड गेन अ गुड नॉलेज अबाउट एंड अचीव अ गुड नॉलेज अ थोरो नॉलेज अबाउट द ग्लास वे आई होप यू वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन गेन अ गुड नॉलेज अबाउट a different type of glassware different type of company which are used for serving thank you so much have a nice day